A rare sea creature was spotted on South Padre Island, but if you touch them, you are in, in for a world of hurt. CBS 4's Karina Vargas tells us how rare it is to see the blue dragon here. Dragons are washing up on shore, but not necessarily the ones you see in movies. This photo sent to us by a viewer shows the blue dragon, which is a sea slug that is not commonly found along our beaches. That, that's pretty rare. I mean, we don't, we don't see a, a lot of them, but they are reported from Texas. Again, that, that community of organisms, they kind of go around in like masses of water. If you see one, you see a thousand of them. David Hicks is a director for the School of Marine Sciences at UTRGV. He adds that while these bright blue creatures are only around one inch, they can eat a Portuguese man o' war, which is a jellyfish twice their size. They're, they're very small, so they'll catch up to one of these, um, these Portuguese man o' war, and they probably won't consume the whole thing because of the huge size difference, but it'll certainly consume some of the polyps that make up the colony of the Portuguese man o' war. While these blue dragons don't breathe fire, their defense mechanisms are quite painful. According to Hicks, when they feed on Portuguese man o' wars, they take over their stinging cells, making their stings worse. They can actually give you a sting that would be very similar to the Portuguese man o' war, and it actually can be a little worse because they concentrate the cells more than the Portuguese man o' war does uh, on, on its tentacles. Hicks is advising beachgoers who run into blue dragons that they can take pictures, but beware not to touch them. In South Padre Island, with complete valley coverage, Karina Vargas, CBS4 Valley at 5. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. All right, Hicks adds these blue dragons are not only found on Texas shores, but across the world.